an expert in dialects who doesn't know anything about hypnotism might as well fold up his tent because herein is wrapped up the entrance point of research and investigation in the entire field of psychotherapy. Hypnotism. It's that thing which has been practiced by witch doctors, temple priests, psychoanalysis, medical doctors, charlatans, bums, medical doctors, psychiatrists, bums, <laughs> dogs, <laughs> snakes. Now we're getting technical. Snakes, medical doctors, psychologists, uh, scorpions, snakes, uh, psychiatrists. <laughs> Since time immemorial, and has never had any success yet. Why? Why is it at once the entrance into psychotherapy, which the investigation takes, and turns right around and is the worst flub that anybody could have anything to do with? That's because the whole process of hypnotism is the exact parallel process to the dwindling spiral. And if you wanted to do something for the human race, which would clear it instantly, you would simply unhypnotize it. What is this multiple level of agreement of hypnotism? Now, in the first place, what is hypnotism? You think of it as hocus pocus. Some people don't believe it's true. Or, you know, they doubt hypnotism. This is silly. Hypnotism is that process by which sufficient agreement can be made between an operator and a subject so that the subject will agree that the operator has entire and complete control of his intellectual processes. As well as his sleep, markup, processes, etc. ad infinitum. It is that process by which the operator, the hypnotist, takes control of the machinery of the Thetan by agreement. Now this is merely then a heightening of agreement to a point where an operator becomes pan-determined and where the subject becomes not determined. So the problem of hypnotism is simply the problem of control. It is the problem of determinism. When a hypnotist starts in, he's got an individual there who is to some degree subjugated to his will, and he then, by a process, a gradient scale of agreement, builds up the fact to where the hypnotist has actually taken the place of the subject's will. Control and will has transferred in this case, and that is the goal of psychoanalysis. And psychoanalysis has no other goal. We have to have people transferring around according to psychoanalysis before we get anybody well. If you can just get a patient to transfer over and be the analyst. Why, well, you've succeeded. Think of what you would do as an auditor if every pre-clear you had was to become you, and that's all. That was your total cure, was to have that pre-clear become you. And now let you be, not your, your fairly good shaped self, but a seedy, rattle-brained uh, guy who was completely overboard on the second dynamic. Hmm? How about this? Is this psychotherapy or is it hypnotism? It's hypnotism. We're trying to get the patient to transfer into the identity of the analyst. And in old-time psychoanalysis, its worst possible manifestations, a patient would walk miles just to find out whether or not he should go out on a date or eat dinner. If he couldn't get on the phone, he'd walk miles to see his analyst to consult him to find out whether or not he ought to spit. This is the condition and psychoanalysis. It is an hypnotic condition by which one takes a practice and puts it into an hypnotic report to such a degree that the practice then sort of moves on an automaton basis totally on the advices of the analyst. And analysts aren't that good, and individuals aren't that good, and they never will. Be. He has enslaved so many intelligences overtly that he at last has come to a point where he himself is so enslaved but he can't budge or exhibit free will in his activities and environment. Well, what about this? 
If hypnotism is so very, very bad, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm merely demonstrating the condition it results in, and if its condition that it results in is so desperate for both the hypnotized and the hypnotizer, why then it must be an interesting state of affairs. So if we look across the whole field, we can find that we can induce hypnotism on any dynamic merely by suppressing the determinism of an individual on that dynamic and supplanting that determinism of one's own will. Now, as I talk to you and teach you in various ways about life, about the mind, about other things, I ask you every time when you look over this information, I'll teach you a process, yes, with great ardor, I'll teach you a process so that you will do it right. It's because a lot of experience says that's the right way to do a process. But I never for one moment, never for one moment ask you to take anything completely on its face. I never for one moment Never for one moment ask you to take anything completely on its face value that was necessary to locate some of the central threads of truth and weave them together in some fashion so that the latter was thus created. But we have nowhere along this line gone deeper into and departed further into arduous and onerous, more arduous, more onerous methods of control and duress for preclears. Yes, an auditor today, because of the velocity of his processes and so forth, can be sharper, can be more insistent and so forth to a preclear than he could previously. But look of where we've graduated from in psychotherapy. In book one, it talks about Dianetic Reverie. You realize the Dianetic Reverie is the thinnest upper level possible of hypnotism. Here the auditor had to take a certain amount of control over the free clears bank in order to get the free clears bank operating at all. The only excuse we had for doing this, for inducing anything like an attentive uh, state of mind on the part of a free clear, was because free clears were not able in the main, to do these processes, my first investigations were undertaken at the deepest levels of hypnotism. I was looking for the unconscious mind. And I found out it was a lie. I found out it didn't exist, that there was no unconscious mind. But I found that during moments of unconsciousness, there was a recording mechanism which recorded everything. That didn't look like an unconscious mind, did it? It looked like a mind that was terribly conscious. That's a curious thing. If they would just open up the front door right now and bring in somebody who had gotten well, who observably was better through having been hypnotized, I would take back at least one one hundredth of what I've said today. Yes, you can get a fellow so apathetic that he will no longer register a facsimile. Yes, you can get a fellow so convinced on other determinism that he's well that you'll go around like a little automaton, say, and there's your hypnotized case. So as people go down a dwindling spiral, as their abilities, urges, dynamics in life suppress, they're going gradually to sleep. And they go gradually to sleep on the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and eighth. And hypnotism is an activity engaged in by this universe. And the hypnotizing of people is simply the dramatization of the physical universe. The society at large specializes in putting people to sleep about things. For instance, for some reason or other, the American public today has gone to sleep on the subject of the atom bomb. The whole subject of perception is actually one of agreement. We agree a wall is there, it's there. Next time you exteriorize some pre-clear, and he doesn't immediately see the walls of the room, don't you get upset. You'll have to educate him a little bit before he can see them. Because did it ever occur to you they probably aren't there while he's outside? You say then, now what are you looking at? It's black. And you say, well, copy it. Make another copy of it. Make another copy of it. Make another copy of it. Another copy of it. Another copy of it. All right, pull all those in. Okay, he says, now you say, now what are you looking at? And he says, oh, there's shooting stars and there's all kinds of things happening around here. And you say, well, copy it. You know, 
do it again, copy it again, copy it again, copy it again, copy it again. Now, pull them all together and pull them in. Now, what are you looking at? I don't know, I see a wall over there. Good, copy it. Again, 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 again. Now, pull your copies together. Pull them in. Get the idea?